Hey everyone, Jarrett here. Welcome to Jarrett Grimes Aquatic Life. Now I know I have been gone a while, a few months to be exact, mm, about four. I've posted a video here and there, but nothing really on the regular. I did take a break and I let people know, hey, I'm gonna be slowing down for a while until I decide exactly what I want to do. Um, for those of you that don't know, I did have a baby um, he is almost two months old now, so we've had time to kind of readjust to that. And <clears throat> I was sitting here enjoying my tank and uh, was thinking, I really want to share it with you guys. Um, now the tank in question is the 125 African Cichlid tank. And this tank, I've been kind of bouncing back and forth between making big changes or just stocking changes. Um, I haven't made any concrete decisions yet, but that is something that I am considering. Um, but we also have the 150 project. Yeah, still have that one. It's outside, it's winter time here. Um, but that's what's been going on. I don't wanna ramble and talk forever, but uh, I really want to keep this channel going. Um, I would like to do two videos a week and keep that a theme probably Wednesdays and Sundays or Thursdays and Sundays it probably a Wednesday video but it probably wouldn't come up until Thursday so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below I don't know if anybody even really watches my videos anymore other than Kreger and uh, a few others otherwise I don't know I don't really do it for the views per se, but it is nice to have feedback from everyone who does watch it, so I greatly appreciate that. Excuse me for just a second. Hopefully the lighting is all right, and yeah. So what do you say we take a look at that 125? I've made quite a bit of changes to this room. This is my utility room. We've added cabinets. Um, I've had things going on. I just haven't filmed anything really other than my planted tank. That's the only video you'll see for the past couple few months. With that being said, let's check out the African cichlid tank. So here is the 125. I'm going to try it in two different types of light and settings to see how it looks. The scratches don't appear as vibrant uh, with it set like it is right now, but it also doesn't autofocus. And with the fish moving a lot, you see I gotta get in pretty close just to get it to focus on them. Um, some of them are coloring up. Uh, clown loaches are doing well. There's are there are still three of them in here. My rock work, I took a little bit of it down. We had a black beard algae. Uh, going on All right, let me swap this so here we are in auto mode, so we'll have the auto focus and All the other luxuries of having an s9 camera A little bit difference in the colorations this guy is my jerk. I mean he's Basically the most colorful, but he is a jerk He's not nice and he beats up on my OB dragon blood. That one looks good. This one always looks good. Females, they've all been holding eggs. Uh, let's see, that one is. That one I don't think is anymore. There was babies down below. That one back there is holding. This is one of my favorite fish in this tank, but he'll take a while to grow up. Uh, where's my OB? He's, see, he's trashed. He's pretty, but his fins are all tore up. See him? He's a pretty guy. Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the tank. 
for a little bit and then we'll look at these cabinets <laughs> whether you have interest in that or not most of you do know i run grimes handyman and aquatic services so with that uh, i clean tanks i do remedial plumbing and electrical work and such here in illinois on the side from working my full basically supposed to be full-time but part-time job at these pets my local fish store here in uh, illinois it has been a while since i have made content so i do apologize with uh, any pronunciation or anything like that plus i'm trying to be quiet because the wife is still sleeping i get up early with the baby in the morning so she can sleep in and she gets up in the middle of the night we have a pretty good system um, he's sleeping right now which i could uh let you see him creeping in on him So I did have a china cabinet in there by where the baby's sleeping by the 75 gallon planted. I replaced that with this. The china cabinet's still in there. It's my wife's, the hutch and the cabinet. So I got my own cabinet for in here so I could organize my chemicals and such. Stuff I need on a regular basis for my own hobby and then I still have this shelf here and I use the water heater you really shouldn't stack stuff on your water heater like that so take that as an example of what not to do and we got these from a buddy down the road his parents passed away thoughts and prayers with him um, it was natural causes um, but regardless of that but they are nice cabinets and I also have this one to match um, and not much in there some teflon tape and stuff for my ro unit paper towels and then my furnace is there ro unit i didn't have this set up uh, when i was making regular weekly videos i still have to put the float on this so it'll shut on and off otherwise i have a valve down there that i can turn it on and off there's a pump down at the bottom to circulate it you're familiar with the tank um, this is basically just filter floss um, some lava rock I use for uh, media a couple bags of that I need to get another one put up top then I have this cabinet here all my fine filter uh, batting pinky filter where is the pinky filter I think pinky filters up there but these are the blue pads like pinky filter a very dense white pad like that up there very dense like an inch and a half thick or more um, and then phosphate pads nitrate pads carbon a debris pad another debris etc etc a big roll of this stuff uh, called says filterguru.com I forgot what it's called but it's a roll big roll you just cut it cut to fit that's the beauty of having sumps guys is you can cut your filters out of whatever to fit now there's just fish food uh, for this tank down here which i've considered cleaning that cabinet out but all of that fish food will not fit up here this is my utility room and this is the utility um, you know washer dryer cabinet i've always used it for the food it's even bowing i need to put supports in the middle flip the shelf over so it won't do that anyways i think it's like 100 129 dollars at menards but i need to get this stuff out of here um, since i do have more cabinets pinky floss roll uh, extra heater tubing uh, uv sterilizer bulbs uh, Nuviton, which is uh, like novice, it's stuff to clean acrylic, some test kit stuff, an aqua lifter pump, nothing, nothing fantastic, nothing going on, some bags, 
and a, uh, a book to an FX5. So that's pretty well it going on in here. Of course, when I put all that stuff away, I cleaned up my corner. So now it's just buckets in this corner, uh, which is nice because I need buckets. This tote goes with me from job to job. I put everything in the buckets and such that I need and in this tote and carry it. The only thing that I take that won't fit in there is this Mr. Clean mop for the really deep tanks like the 450, 400, stuff like that. Um, and then I have this shower cleaner pad, which I more so use at home because uh, most of the big tanks I clean are acrylic and can't use stuff like that or it will scratch it. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button down below. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I upload, which should be regularly soon with your guys' feedback. I will continue to make content here and there. Plus, we gotta check out the discus tank that we now have in the shed. And uh, Follow me on Instagram, uh, Jarrett Grimes, Fish Guy, period, Vapes and I can, you can see what's going on there because I post pictures daily, um, sometimes daily, every other day at, at minimum. Um, that's, that's pretty well it, guys, so I appreciate you for tuning in. Share the video if you think anyone would be interested in me rambling on. Other than that, you know the drill. Peace.